<laughs> Hello everyone, I am back on my channel. I've been gone quite a while, I know I am sorry. Will my Minecraft content be back? Probably. I'm thinking of going back to just building. So, stay in tune for that. But today we are not here for that. Today, we're here for an important thing. Now, who here has a cat? Look at my cat. We all have cats. There you have it. I have a cat. You probably have a cat. If you don't have a cat, you definitely want a cat. So today we are playing a lovely game called Ta -da! Whisker Waters. And it is one of my favorite games so far. I've only played two hours. We are going into the load that I have of me playing it two hours. I'm going to continue. So without further ado, let's hop right in. And here we are. Right, let me show you a magic trick. So if you look at the camera. Bam! Here we are, guys. Whisker Waters. The game of a lifetime. Right. So, I've decided that what we're gonna do is we are going to start a new game. Why? Well, I've already started one, but that one's for, like, my own enjoyment. So let's get started. So breed. There are different types of breed. I think this one's oh look how cute it is. Let's do a little spinny spin. Oh breed strength. Ooh. I think half. See, I love cats. Big ears. They're the cutest. And then stubby ones too. Look at that. Oh. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do extra poof. Extra floof. We're gonna make an extra poofy and floofy and puffle with a big smile i don't think it's cute look how adorable that is now i think everyone has saw what my cat looks like my cat's like a fully black cat we're gonna do a, a little bit of white paws a little puff paws i think would be cute oh this one's cute as well Ooh. we're gonna stick we're gonna stick to the classic the difference is we're gonna do green eyes with Ooh. High intensity, but big eyes. And then I'm thinking green eyes. Yeah. I think green eyes will work best. Classic cat eyes as well. When they're like honest, they're finest. And I think, I think we're happy with that. I think that's our character ready to go. Look at that. Ago, there were adventurers known as fish rangers. That's what we are. Who used rod. And reel as their primary tool. So fishers, fishermen. These rangers were great providers. Food. Teachers, protectors, of fishing. Travelers. And the land prospered. Ooh, then, prospered. A great disturbance oh, happened. In a mountain. And with it brought a terrible plague. The rangers rallied to the source. And halted the spread. They tried to anyway. Unsure if the danger was fully past, the rangers remained on guard and faded away into legend. So, them being all packed and not being around made them forget, made people forget of them. I think that's the case. Anyway. So, it was our bedtime story, guys. Now, now, I already told you the story three times tonight. Damn it, Elder. Tell you what. Let's head out to the water in the morning. I'll teach you how to fish, just like the fish rangers. Okay, now, get some sleep. We gotta be up bright and early tomorrow. That is quite cool. That is quite cool. I also like the music. Okay, good. It's day. So, I'm assuming this is the tutorial. Tell you what, we'll skip the tutorial as I'm seeing everyone's gonna have to do it. I'll be back. Ta da! And we are now sailing off back home after catching our fish. That was quite fun. I did enjoy that. The tutorial again. It's quite fun. I do like it. I like the way they teach you. There's a bit more to fishing in this game than most things. Oh, the tower. There you are, staring at that old outpost again. Come on, we've got work to do. Bring me a lock for the fire and let's prepare for the day. 
Ooh, yes, sir. Got some lumber. Here you go, Elder. I'll toss it on. Now it's time we get started. I have something to tell you. You're ready to take on new responsibilities, and this will help you stay organized. You can use it to write down fish you've caught on your to-do list. I don't want you forgetting. I actually forget a lot. What you're supposed to be doing when I send you out again? Let's make some food. We got three mouths to feed. You, three. You, me, and Mrs. May down the path. Times are tough, and we need to help each other out. Ooh, sure. Get some bugs. Crown them around. Fire. Don't keep me waiting long. And it helps me. Hurrah! We can start the game now. So, a lot of these things, you're not going to find anything down here. We have to go down. Now, these bushes got the bugs. The basic ones. I think the basic ones are important. Now, let's have a little... Oh, lumber was hiding in there. Um... I'm gonna look around. Oh, more lumber. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's spinning on the ground. Oh, let's pick it up. Oh, we got a bug! Okay, so I'm assuming we gotta pick these up as well. Alright, some of these bushes don't have any bugs. And these guys seem peaceful. They seem really sweet. Oh. We've got levitating apples. Love a good levitating apple. They're the best. If they float, they're the good ones. And ta da! Fruit worm, really? Can I do anything else with the bag? No. Oh. Not really. You find it, and that's about it. What about upstairs? If I'm correct, there is... Hmm. You can jump in this game. All sorts of real stuff. Got another piece of bait. And there's a little fishing location back here. And in here you can catch normal fish, and I think those are dessert fish, and then they have a stragglers. The ones that can get you, I think, 30 coins? Oh, it's another bug. We got another one. I'm assuming, yeah, this is where Miss May is. It's the location of Miss May. And there's a lot of apples, and the fun fact about apples, not all apples are going to be good ones. Sometimes, in the game, you will get apples that have bugs in them, and those are the fruit worms. Now, because we are fishers, that's the best kind. Obviously. I think we've cleared out this entire area. I think so. There's nothing left to do. So I don't think there is. Oh, there's a little kid over here, though. Kiddo, come here. Hi, I've been looking for big beetles. Have you seen any? I haven't been able to get paws on them. But I found this shiny thing. I swept you for it with a whole bunch of big beetles. Like, three big beetles. And I have so many. Damn. How many do we have? We have two. We have two beetles. Beetle juice. Be no, I'm kidding. Uh, I can't say three times. I'm rich. Right. So we need three bugs. We got some more fruit. And any bugs on here? We got some more bait. It's the bait I want though. I need another fat bug. This is this. Thank you for bringing back my boat. I can't wait to be a fisher and have a real boat like this someday. I didn't give him the boat, but yeah, you're welcome. Damn. People are very grateful here. There should be an apple here. There's two. But they're just hiding in the corner. Hmm. Be observant. Now, there's one thing that I've noticed in the game that I find absolutely adorable. Outfit cat. Want to dress up? Check these out. So. He has glasses. I have glasses, so obviously we gotta get glasses. You can also have necklaces of certain types. I love that. You can get little wrist wraps and Tootsie wraps. So, obviously me. Loving that style. 
And then obviously you can get a little upper right belt or a strap. I think belt would be cool. And then you got a belt accessory. You got straps. You got a singular backpack. You don't have any chest. But you can get a little headband around your ear. So then, da-da, you could accessorize your little guy along the way. Over time, the further you go into locations, the more options you can get. So my plan is to accessorize him. Ooh, bug. Accessorize him every single section we go into. Because there's loads of sections in this game. For now, let's give the kid the three beetles. And then he gives me water bugs ahead of time where you can get bugs with bugs you can use a little slime ball if you time it right you can catch all of them without a single problem and another one and i didn't catch that one but then i do it again and the range on this thing is crazy good fun fact you can also use this on items it's not just for bugs you can use it on items as well it's really reliable like that Right, let's catch some fish. So let's see what we can get. Ooh. And click. Now. So this is a fun mini game. You gotta overpower the fish. If you overpower it, depending on how much you do. Ah, oh, so this one got tangled. Down and there. So I love this because this game has a lot of mini games. So you've gotta be able to interact with them as you're trying to get the fish and then also control it in order to pick it up and bam we get an ill gill so let's go back the funny thing is it's almost night time by the time i get these tasks done but let's go to him now the fun part is if you hold shift and click you can very carefully organize stuff into the quest and then we got free fish now these fish ain't worth a lot it's just some basic level fish. Head over to Miss May and pick up my nets. Make sure she gets that fish too. They're counting on us. Alright. We're heading to Miss May now. Let's go. The cutest thing that I think this game has in terms of nighttime is the little bauble on him. That is the cutest thing in the world. So even though you're in like a dark zone in the game, it's still pretty good. There goes Miss May. I forgot to see you. This is to help us out so much. I would have finished with these nets, but I couldn't find my kit muddles. Can you go look? Muddles usually place with a toy boat by the shore. I should be done by the time you get back. Oh, and a bug. Yeah. Bit of both, huh? Bit of both. So, we're going to head up here. We're just going to go all the way around. Down this little pathway. And the camera work is a bit icky. A little bit iffy. It's not that bad. Anywho. Muddles. Oh, hi. I was putting my butt. Want to play Fish Rangers? Looking for me. But I was just playing. Okay, I'll head home. Silly kid. It's night time and he's out. To be honest, it does not look like it's night time in this game. Kind of looks like day and night. Half half. Ooh, okay, right, let's go to Miss May. Meadows is out playing with that boat again. So that's where... Thank you for finding Muddles. Here is that mended net for dear Pepper. Wish I could do more, but we are short on supplies. Here's a basket of fruit for your troubles. Aww, she got us a basket of fruit. AKA one fruit. Not fruits, a basket of fruit. Right, let's go back and tell him the news. Everything okay? Yeah, I've been gone a long time. It's true. Oh, glad you found a little kit for her. Sounds like you had a busy day. Maybe relax a little. Aye, aye, Captain. And we keep staring off into the outpost. Now we get to ask three questions. What is that place? It was abandoned long before my time. I guess this place was once more popular than it is nowadays. Where did the Fresh Rangers go? I don't know, Kit. Those old stars really don't talk about that. I suppose they aren't around anymore. And the last one is, how can I be a fish ranger? I think you have to figure that one out on your own. I'm not a fish ranger, so I couldn't tell you. 
I see you're curious about the world and the fish rangers. Maybe you can find out more over in Fisher Folk Bay. We gotta get you ready for a trip like that though. Let's talk about working on those fishing skills. You might have noticed how fish react differently when you throw out on your line near them. If you hit the water too close, you'll scare the fish off. Don't scare it though, some fish will take the bait while others won't even give a second look. More fish will only bite if you offer them something they like, and some fish are too smart to be caught, no matter what bait you use. Got to think of it. I've never been caught. I don't even know how to get one of them. Let's see here. Now, you should be get able to get me one of those desert fish. That's the pink fish. I really love a certain book that swims over here waters. Let me show you a trick how to get him. So, the thing that this game explains that it's going to skip over is catching the flying books that we did with the sticky ball. The thing that I know about it is, there you go. I've already done it because I remember how to do it. Now there's the option of a scare, which would be very important. So the task for me now, I think I already caught one. No, I didn't. Right, so let's catch a desert fish. Fishing rod mode, and then we have to change our bug to the water bugs. There's quite a few of them. So we're in no rush. I'm going to put it somewhere in the middle. Now, this is going to be very difficult because these guys are very hard to catch. Oh, it's a pink one, isn't it? Oh, perfect. Right. Let's catch it. So it's a great two fish. I mean, it's a good kind of fish. And it's also the best fish we can get. Puzzle. Bam, 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 bam. Dun, 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 and dun, 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 dun. Hurrah! Ooh, hell yeah. Desert fish. 170 is my record. So, there is. That's a picture of the fish. You can also have a look at your fish in the journal. Here's the merlin. When it's a new kind of fish, you won't have any facts on it. But once you catch one, you can figure out the story of them. So because at the beginning of the game, I caught a bullfish and I caught an illgill, it tells me when they're around. So they have specific requirements. However, you find to realize that finding these fish in the game can be quite easy, especially when the game is so focused on just fish. So. We have to head over down to this kind of floating log. Can't even reach it. To head over here. And here's the little kit. Cat. What do you want to call it? Curious Bob! I heard that there's fish that only appears around here. I wonder which one it is. It's the merlin, my dear. And it is literally. Where is it? I oh, know it's over that way. A few of those that way. Or is that the foam fish? I can never figure it out. What does it look like? Yellow and blue. It's a grade three. That looks like it. Maybe. Oh, now there they are. Okay, lovely. You can see them from here. So their favorite bug is this one. So I have a one shot chance for this one. One chance. One singular chance for this one. I only have one of those bugs at the moment. And my biggest opinion is always pick the one with the most hearts. This is a grade free. So the bigger the grade, the more of a challenge it is. So. This is going to require basically doing those challenges in order to catch those fish. Because if you don't, it's going to be hard to catch them. And a merlin, 20 coinage. Let's head over to the bay. Right here, here is the fish you requested. One more thing. If you study the fish long enough like I have, you'll learn when, where, and how to catch every fish that can be caught. We're in done, and you'll be able to look back on it. And now it's trying to me to get a new kind of fish. Now, when I first played this, I remembered uh, to get that fish, but this time, I didn't. 
Journal's there. Now we go back. Catnip Grove. Important thing that I've learned is you. I, I'm the type of person who wants to get all the quests done. I think that's the coolest thing to do. So, my task is to get all the quests I possibly can done and enjoy. So, I've got the journal and I think I've delivered it. Quest line here. I bet he's back up there and I just ran past him. I did. Looks like Strapula must like to swim around rocks. Here's the entry for journal. Catch the fish. Oh, wait, no, we've caught one. There we go. Right, so this is the fish that we're trying to catch now. I don't think it's. I don't think it's that hard of a fish. But I think it's the one with the most reward. It's not. But that's quite cool. We got one. And now we can prove as a worthy fisher. We got deliver it to our elder. I really like the music. I think we're going to turn it up a little bit. Settings. Hell yeah. My jam. Oh, bait. We got some bait. Alright. Catch that fish, of course. And there you go. You've learned well. Now you need a boat to go exploring. There's an old one across the river. But it won't be easy. There it is. Probably need some wood to plug up the leaks. The wheels are missing too. You have to find another one. This, 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 that, that. Broken boat, broken repair balls. You should head to Herbal Haven to find yourself a spear and get rid of those nasty critters. Ooh, find marsh people and repair the boat. Those are the main quests. But lucky for me, the game has a lot of side quests. Very interesting ones. So this is going to be interesting. All right. Where is... The haven is literally across there and it's a swamp. It's a place I don't like. Hairball haven. That's a swamp. Hairball. Haven. Both. I don't know. Jenny, don't know. Right, well, that about wraps up for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below if you want to see any more of, from me. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care.